What up everyone, it's your girl Stephanie. Today I have another video vlog coming at ya. Tonight I'm so excited because there's a Lush event in just a couple hours. I'm gonna go meet up with Sophia and Whaley and we're gonna head over there. But I've already done a bunch of stuff today. I went to the Adidas showroom. I actually haven't been to that showroom in a good year. So definitely have some good stuff to show you. But even before that, I got the opportunity to go to the set of the most popular girls in school. If you haven't seen that series yet, and I'm sure a lot of you have, it's a stop motion animated series right here on YouTube using Barbies, but it's not exactly what you think. It's super crass and really funny. They're right in the middle of their fifth season right now, and I've always been really interested in stop motion films. Since I was a kid, I watched a lot of them, so it was really cool to go and see it firsthand. I got to meet Carlo and Mark. They are the creators of the series, and they showed me around the sets, the dolls, all the mini foods and props. Some of the props are seriously lifelike. It's just, it's so cool. I love all the little mini stuff. Uh, yeah, the whole setup is so DIY and innovative. They either make everything themselves right there in that studio with their crew, including like the clothing and the furniture, or they use individual artists for specific pieces. Carlos said that they use somebody off of Etsy for their food now, and yeah, it's really lifelike. It's so cool. <laughs> it's just a super creative environment. They record all the scenes and audio within their studio. And they also lend out their studio to other artists, which is awesome. So someone is working on a Zelda project there right now, which I am really looking forward to seeing because you know that I'm a Zelda fan. I got to see a really interesting scene being filmed, which was a fashion show. And as you can see, these are not the Barbies of our childhood at all. This series is kind of like if a bunch of us got really drunk and started playing with Barbies, it would really turn into a world similar to this one. Let me know if you're a fan of this show. I know there's four full seasons already finished. We're midway through the fifth one and I feel like all the characters have been really built upon so well. You kind of simultaneously love and hate every single character. If you wanna check it out, I'll have it in a card as well as linked in the description box down below. All right, let me show you the stuff that I got from Adidas now. I got some pretty good stuff. Do you like how I organized it? Okay, tell me why I go to Adidas almost August and I get a bunch of jackets. I have two quite similar looking ones, but this one has this embroidery in the back. Pretty cool. It's kind of like, it looks like a little death moth. Okay, well, very blurry, but like my death moth right here. You have this really cute, just like simple blue puffy one. I'm actually going to San Francisco this week, so works out because I know it's a lot colder there than here. I finally got my hands on a classic track jumper right here. I've never owned one of these actually, just one of these like classic black and white ones. And then I just got a really nice comfy sweatshirt right here. I'll try on a couple of jackets for you in a second. Uh, for bottoms, look at this cute skirt. How cute is this? I thought it would actually look really cute with the matching track jacket and just like a regular t-shirt underneath. But yeah, little cute Adidas skirt. And I'm stoked for these pants. You know, I'm actually way too short for these pants, so I think when I go home, I'm gonna have my mom <laughs> tailor it for me if she can. She can hem it for me. I got some workout stuff. So here we have a sports bra, because I don't have that many. So it's like a medium sports bra. It's like really tight, but obviously you want that <laughs> when you're working out. And a couple just little shorts. So cute for working out. I'm trying to get my fitness on, you know? And it's really nice and light. And then I know I'm gonna like live in this shirt. It's so comfortable. Just a regular heather gray tee, but I like how it has that kind of curved hem. It's like right where the crotch is, so it's nice. <laughs> and then we have three pairs of shoes. So here's my new like running shoes. Cause I feel like, so I have flat feet and I really need more structure on the bottom for when I'm just even walking around. That's why I like Doc Martens a lot because it doesn't hurt my feet actually. So as you can see, it's quite stiff. And this is kind of what I need, yeah, for when I'm 
just in my daily life, but also if I'm trying to work out. So I'm excited for these. I got a couple pairs of gazelles. So we have this classic black and white. I've never owned a pair of gazelles before, so I'm stoked for that. And these are actually, so these are a woman's six, and these are a men's four and a half. I think these are slightly wider, which is good for my feet. How cute! Here is this first puffy jacket, the one that doesn't have the uh, embroidery on the back. It's just like really nice and warm. And this one's actually extra small. Uh, all the other items I think are I, mediums. I'll put all the I'll put all the links to everything I can find uh, down below with the size that I have as well. And this is the medium of the other ones. So the other one was like a windbreakery material and this one is just like a soft material. God, I'm so bad at explaining things sometimes. And then there's the, the back. <laughs> Here is the classic black and white track jacket. It's not the best outfit for me to show you how these fit because I'm wearing just a huge oversized shirt underneath. It's hot today. <laughs> but yeah, that's how this one looks. If you'd like to see a video of me styling like these kind of collared jackets, let me know down below. I know it's summertime right now, so not the best time for me to do this kind of video, but I mean in general, let me know what kind of styling videos you like me to do because I know I haven't done one in a while. I am right now gonna get a couple things done at my house. I have about an hour before I'm gonna meet up with Sophia and Whaley, so I will see you in just a second, in your time. <laughs> Hello everyone. Running out the door right now, I changed into this outfit right here. This is a pleasure shirt, which they overlaid on top of a Depeche Mode album cover. I actually really love this album. And I'm wearing these little shorts underneath and then knee-high shoes right here. And I have my little whistles backpack. Here is the full outfit right here. It kind of looks like I'm not wearing any pants, but uh, I just called a car and I'm heading over to Sophia's. Hey! Hello! We are in Glendale, Galleria. It's a mall. Literally haven't been into a mall in your oh my god, Aero Hostel. It smells like Claire's. Auntie Anne's. There's Claire's. Who, who shopped at Claire's? Oh no, sorry, Wetzel's Pretzels. Oh Follow your nose, bro. One of those right now. Oh, we made it. Wow, they have all these vegan treats for us. That's for me, all for me, not for you. Oh, yes. all of this. Right. Yes, all of it. All of this. Every wow. single thing. Wow. Okay, Sophia. <laughs> How's the food? I love how the food's really good. I love how they don't even have the paper. Oh, really? Because they're all about, uh, how do I put it, like no packaging, no packaging. No waste. So even this cupcake does not I have didn't realize that. Metal straws. Okay, fuck the weeks. Yeah. Mmm. I'm having a look at these now. Oh my god, I'm gonna have like four more. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh, I don't have yeah. any. Just uh, applying for my next career. <laughs> All right. It seems like a lot. Yeah, that's a yeah. lot. That, that I think that's a lot too. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. It's, 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 it's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. Did you really suck it down? Yeah. Like you can press in with your fingers. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah, get a good. So I uh, walked over here and just saw these girls. Twerk, 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 twerk. <laughs> it's supposed to be a lemon, y'all. <laughs> Dirty minds. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's so amazing. I didn't even realize. I didn't <laughs> Back home from the Lush event, it's actually been a while. I've been home for a couple hours now. Pretty sleepy, gonna go to bed soon. That event was really awesome. We learned a lot about how Lush is really trying to reduce the amount of packaging they use. And we also learned a lot about the charities that they donate to through Charity Pot. I actually got to grab some products and I think they actually tossed in some other products as well. So let's check them out right now. Okay, so I got Three bath bombs. These are actually from the Mother's Day collection, I believe. And these two, this one is very citrusy. I'm gonna see if I can find 
the name of these bath bombs because we actually don't have the names or labels on here in these little bags. Uh, but these two smell awesome. Here we have three uh, shampoo solids, I guess. They're supposed to be good, I think, for 60 washes each. So, yeah, definitely have a bunch of washes here. This one is supposed to be really good for sensitive scalps. I think if you have an itchy scalp, it's really good for that and these are supposed to be really good for sensitive scalps as well. Uh, we got a few of these things that we actually pressed ourselves. It's just gonna take about 24 hours or 24 to 36 hours for it to harden and then we can use it as a scrub. Over here, I actually have a couple makeup items. So this one is the Feeling Younger Skin Tint and it's actually like the highlighter. Yeah, I've never really tried honestly any of the Lush makeup stuff. So I'm excited to try this one out. And this one is the Emotional Brilliance. It's a translucent powder and it is kind of, it's pink. So I thought it would be good for maybe setting underneath the eyes. Finally, I have two products here, the Yuzu and Coco Shower Cream. Honestly, this and Rose Jam are my favorite Lush scents. Like this one smells so freaking good. And then this is something new that I've never tried. This is Turkish Delight. It's a shower smoothie and it just smells delicious like the most beautiful rose, Turkish rose you could ever put on your body. So yeah, soak for these two. Well, I had a really eventful day today. I'm pretty tired right now, so I'm gonna end it here. I hope you enjoyed watching this day and I will see you in the next one. What up everyone, coming at you from my old bedroom, my parents' house. I got in yesterday and I didn't vlog because I just flew in and I ended up hanging out with my family all day and night and then, you know, went to sleep. So not much to do there, I had some family time. But today, uh, I just got ready right now and I'm about to go to the mall <laughs> and then have dinner with my family and shoot with my friend Matt Sachi. I have a bunch of really cool pictures with him so I'm stoked to go meet up with him and take some cool pics tonight. I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you some of my childhood home. My parents are actually moving to a new house pretty soon. It's uh, much smaller, this is like, this house is pretty much, I would say, it's like two and a half stories because there's like half stairs. Uh, and my parents are moving to a one story because obviously my sister and I aren't here. So I'm going to show you around. This right here <laughs> was my bedroom from high school on when my sister went away to college. I got this room because it is much larger than the room next door, which was my old room from elementary school into middle school. Uh, yeah, my parents actually clean up a bunch of stuff because they are about to move, so it's pretty empty right now, and obviously, sorry about that, that's just, I meant to just not show that, but there's a little desk over there. Oh, actually, here's my record player, my very first one that my cousin gave me. It has like a primal scream and a jam on there. I should just take this back home. Yeah, that was my very first record player right there. All this furniture here, like this whole set, the bedroom set, actually came with the house. Um, so I realized that I've had a love of mid-century modern furniture since I was young, because I grew up with it <laughs> in my bedroom. Uh, here's all my little stuffed animals. This one I actually got from my mom um, when I was in college when she was going through chemo. So this is my mom's little lammy that I got her, because my mom loves little lambs. Uh, my little elephant my dad got me. This is another one that's actually my mom. She just grouped them all together. And then this, <laughs> this is my Bobo. This is the, the main little stuffed animal. Look at how messed up he is. He's actually a puppet. My parents got me a couple really nice stuffed animals. They're like, you know, pretty high quality. And I went with this one, which apparently I got at a fair and it was like the cheapest stuffed animal. Um, but he's lasted, I used to rub his forehead and behind his ears because it was the softest area um, in his belly and obviously he's lost just all of his stuffing. Bobo! Oh, look who it is. Izzy! What are you, what are you doing over here, huh? This is Izzy. Izzy was my sister's dog and then she came to live with my parents because she liked it better here. <laughs> Ashley took her back. Well, Ashley brought Izzy here because Ashley was going away or something. And when she took Izzy back to L.A., Izzy got really depressed and was not stoked. And then came back here and was so happy. So Izzy lives here now. By the way, painted that, y'all. I got some skills. 
Okay, let's exit the bedroom. You ready? <laughs> this is the room that I pretty much grew up in and I chose these clouds when I was in elementary school. And my sister stays in here when she comes to visit. This wasn't here before. Um, it had a whole different configuration, but my mom uses this room right now as well. So yeah, this was the bedroom that I grew up in. And then we go down this hall. There's the bathroom. It's kind of messy, nothing too exciting. My parents' room's right there. But we're gonna go downstairs. My luggage is here because I didn't want to lug it upstairs, but that is my front door right there. And then there's these fly stairs up, and then this is like, I guess, a formal sitting room. And the dining room, which has a bunch of like stuff on it because my parents are doing some construction on the new house, so that's all that stuff on there architecture stuff. And then this is the piano that I grew up playing. I don't know how many hours of my freaking life playing that piano. <laughs> um, but here we have the kitchen, my favorite area. Probably where I spent so much of my time. So my parents renovated this kitchen uh, a while ago. This is pretty much where we eat and I would do all my homework here. I, I spent so much time at this table or you know when I got older I did homework in my room but that's when I moved into Ashley's room where there's a desk and then we will go down these stairs and this is the living room where we watch a lot of TV and there used to be all these like pictures so yeah a bunch of the stuff uh, my mom already put away to bring to the new house I'm kind of bummed because I want to show you all of our pictures but yeah that used to be full of pictures uh, down here we have another bathroom, and there, that's the garage right there. This was like a little study, and then my parents actually added on this, and they had somebody living here. I think it was my mom. My mom knew her from church, I think, but yeah, she, used, she lived here for years, so um, she lived in this area and then in this, so that used to be like completely locked and blocked off. Yeah, it's like a nice little studio over here actually within my parents' house. So we will go back now and I'll show you our backyard, which is so beautiful. Honestly, I'm gonna miss this backyard a lot. Oh my God, it's hot today, it's really hot. All right, y'all, this is my backyard. My mom put so much work into this yard. These trees were like literally teeny, teeny little stumps when, you know, she planted it. It used to be all crazy back here. And then my mom put on all these rocks. Um, what are these different trees? One of them's a apple pear. One of them's a apricot. Or I think two of them are apple pears. One of them's apricot. My mom has always loved succulents also. So, before it was fashionable, my mom always had tons of succulents. And then, over here is where we have like, this is like um, a lot of different flowers and stuff. And then this really pretty tree here. And then this is my mom's garden. I wish I could have a garden. I really wanted, like that was like, oh look, there's a lizard over there. Can you see it? Okay, it's gone, kind of. <laughs> I honestly wanted to have a house so I could have a garden like this, but as a single person, it's kind of, yeah, I, I don't really want to have a house quite yet. But when I do, I will have a garden like this one. <laughs> All right, we are gonna head back inside because my feet are on fire right now. All right, back in my room. Yeah, so like I said, my parents are moving to a new place. I don't know, I'm really happy for them, but also, It'll be strange not to come back to my childhood home. Like when we moved here from Vancouver, I think I was only like, I don't know, a couple months old. We moved, like we lived with my aunt for a while. We were in San Leandro and then we moved here. So this is pretty much, this is where I grew up, you know? I wanted to record this so you can get a little glimpse into 
where I grew up. This is my bedroom. That's where I studied, did a lot of my work. <laughs> a lot of this is for me too because I think the next time I come to visit my parents, it will not be in this house, so <sighs> really weird. Right now I'm gonna go to the mall because I haven't been to our mall in a long time. Wow, second time going to a mall in a week and I haven't been to a mall in so long. Well, the last thing I didn't actually get to shop, so I'm gonna go try and do a little shopping. Uh, yeah, I'll check back in with you then. So I just spent like an hour and a half at the mall and the mall is not as exciting as it used to be. I just felt like there wasn't that much variety. Mm, I don't know. I did get a couple things though. I went to Forever 21, which I haven't been to Forever 21 in like years. So I got <laughs> literally the most boring things ever. I got this little basic black t-shirt. I thought it was a nice little basic. I don't really have any uh, t-shirts right now that fit me that are like a little bit lower. So it's just one of those with a like, little crinkly sleeve, if you can see that. These little shorts right here. Um, I thought they're really cute to wear like underneath oversized things. It has this, <laughs> I don't know why it has this like Paris thing here. Does anyone know how to remove these things from materials? I mean, I don't mind it that much because I don't think you'd really see it that much, but I do like the side and the styles. When in Sephora got a new beauty blender because mine is starting to break down. And then I got my favorite eyelash primer, which is the Lancome Seals Booster XL. This is definitely my fave. I like the Dior one as well, but I like the brush better and this one. So yeah, not the most successful mall trip, but I just kind of want to go back and walk around a bit. I mean, I also felt kind of old. Like everyone who works in the mall is super, super young. Not everyone, but a lot of people who work at the mall are so young. It makes sense though, because you know, in high school, a lot of people go and work in the mall. That's what you do, so I don't know. But I am heading back to my parents' house, and then we're going over to my uncle's for some dinner. I'm actually super hungry right now, so I'm stoked. <laughs> What's the emoji, Daddy? Huh? What's the emoji? What do you mean? What you were just doing. You're doing There's the emoji. <laughs> Come on, everybody. No filming. No, I, I need to audition. Yum, 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 yum. Hey, somebody in San Francisco here. I met up with Matt. He is checking out the abandoned spot that we were supposed to go in and the opening to like the place we could slip through I think got sealed. So we might have to have a change of plans but we are losing light very very quickly. <laughs> He's running. We are definitely up here. <laughs> Look at that. Holy shit. So we out here rooftoping. I got Stephanie to be climbing our buildings and shit with me. Look at her go. Ah. <laughs> Get it? Goodbye. She did that shit in heels. She did that shit in fucking knee high boots. Can't fuck with that. Just got home and my mom made me pot stickers with some veggies because I am starving. We were actually out there for a while. We uh, went up on this roof. It was pretty cool, and I think we got some good pictures, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, it will definitely be on there in just a few days. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and grab right now. What's the matter, Eiji? I gave you chicken already. <laughs> Did you have dinner? Oh, man. Oh. Look who's trying to FaceTime. Oh, vlog. One way or another, I make it onto the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, check out my channel, Bikani Rain on YouTube. Uh, plug me up. Hmm. The best YouTube channel in the world. Suguna always finds a way to get into the vlog. <laughs> Uh, I am going to end this vlog right here because I am pretty much just gonna get ready for bed, do some laundry, and there will be another video vlog coming out because I am gonna be going to San Francisco for the next couple of days. So yeah, if you wanna see more of me, please make sure to subscribe below, come join the sisterhood, and watch out for the next video vlog. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!